Hello everyone, in this video we are going to implement the layers of defend that we just started. We'll go over each of the layers with, that we talked about, the DB configuration layer, input validation, and the SQLize function, and see how to write it correctly into our uh, example project. Let's start with uh, the first layer, which is DB configuration. If we want to configure our database correctly, uh, when we are using SQLize, we need to go to the model instance. Here, inside my initDB function, I define a user model, as you can see here. The user model has two columns, uh, first name and gender. As we talked before, first name is unknown value. We don't know what to expect from, uh, from the user. And gender is known value. We expect gender to be one of the two, uh, male or female. So uh, I changed the, gen the gender to be a type of enum, as you can see here, data types enums. And I expect that the gender is going to be uh, or male or female. Usually what we are doing, we are creating an enum folder, as you can see here on the left, and we are uh, exporting the values that we expect to receive. And this is how we define our model instance. Great. Now let's continue to our input validation uh, level, layer. In order to see it, I, I'm going to the app.js. And here uh, we have our uh, route, which is a post route um, that named query. And uh, this, is, this query is the function that we are going to, to do. But when we are dealing with input validation, we want to make sure we are doing it before um, the actual query that we want to do. So, uh, because we are using Express, I'm going to add a middleware that is called input validation, as you can see here. And also, and only if I uh, pass this middleware correctly, I'm going to enter the query function. Let's see what we have inside our input validation function. Here, in the input validation function, I'm using a, a joy, the joy package. Joy is a very popular package for input validation. And uh, with joy, we are defining something called a schema. Our schema is going to have two, uh, two attributes, first name and gender. And here I define the first name to be a string, a minimum three uh, letters, and it is required from the body. And gender, as we saw, in the previous layer is going to be uh, one of the enum values, which is male or female, and it is al also required from the user. The actual middleware is written here. Uh, the input validation function take the request, response, and next, and it uh, extracts the body from the request, and we are using the assert function um, to, to make sure the body and the schema is aligned. If it is aligned, we are going to console good input and go uh, and use the next function to go inside the query method that we created before. Okay, that's great. Now we are going to see the, the last layer, which is uh, an important one, which is the SQLize function. In order to see it, I'm going to the query. Here, inside the query, we are going to fetch um, the first name and the gender from the request. We are going to get the user model. And instead of using the SQLize query function that takes a string and executes and, and execute it as, you, as we wrote it into the database, which is very, very unsafe and can do a lot of image and the uh, SQL, SQL injections can be done when we are using with it. We want to change the SQLize query to be a, an, a built-in function that uh, SQLize uh, exports. For example, find all in our case. So instead, instead of using SQLize query, we are going to change it to find all. As you can see here, uh, our, my users is uh, all the users that has the first name that we received and the gender we received. Here, as you can see, this function is async and we should uh, wrap it with the try-catch 
but for example, I think it's uh, it's okay if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we'll explain it about it more. I want uh, to say a few things before we finish. As you can see, in uh, we have three layers, and if one of the layers is going, if if an attacker passes one of the layers, we also have the the next one. For example, if the the attacker act, uh, some something happened and he can he passes the input validation middleware, is going to be stopped when is going to uh, to our database. For example, if uh, we define the input validation middleware here uh, with the wrong schema, for example, we say that uh, we allow few more things. For example, uh, male, female, and uh, something else. Uh, when the user will try to use this uh, attribute inside our database, is going to fail because we define it in the next level. This approach is very useful and it helps us uh, to prevent SQL injections. And that's it my friends. I hope that you uh, do learn something from this video and from this tutorial. If you find it any useful, please uh, like and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot to provide you more value. Uh, and see you on the next video we are going to publish. Thank you very much.